Look at that. Beta 1.4 already making great changes. Smooth lighting off. Smooth lighting on. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Welcome back to collecting every block in Minecraft by release order. Today it's time for betas 1.4 and 1.5. Those two updates add, uh, let me check my notes here, uh, four blocks total. And they're all in beta 1.5, not beta 1.4. Well, then why am I playing it? Those of you who watched the last episode will recall me saying that Beta 1.4 finally adds the ability to acquire cocoa beans legitimately in-game, meaning that we can now finish collecting the last color of wool that we weren't able to get in Beta 1.2, that being brown wool. And we have two options with which to get it. We could A, get cocoa beans from dungeon chests, or B, find a brown sheep which now spawns as a colored sheep variant. There is only a 3% chance per sheep in this version though, so it's debatable which method is better. If we are going the dungeon method though, then we'll need to generate new terrain, as existing dungeons won't have cocoa beans in them. You also don't want to generate too much terrain, because there's so many updates that add new things in new terrain. So every update that does that, I'm gonna have to go even further and further and further every time. Oh, they added dogs in this version! I forgot! Oh. As night sets in, I dig down in hopes that I've gone far enough away from home to possibly find some new dungeons. I don't know what would be a better way of doing it, but I'm not doing anything while I'm on the surface, so I might as well, while it's dark, try to find a dungeon. In our caving adventure, we are brutally reminded of how scary old Minecraft caving truly was. Oh! This is bad. It was not that bad, but it definitely... Oof. Oof. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, who needs a morning coffee when you got one of those? I don't want to, like, ruin the experience of the game. Like, this is just how it was, you know? Like, the caves were darker, you know? The game was just scarier, for God's sake. The game was just scarier, man. I don't know if I want to... I don't know if I want to ruin the experience of what this old versions provided, you know? You, they're so good. They're so good. Quite simply, there is, there is no outgaming this man. He is, he's too good. There is no, there's no outgaming that man. He is simply too good. People don't like to admit it sometimes, but I am always right. Where? Oh, fuck you! Wow! I, mean, I can't just assume every mob noise is going to lead to a spawner. Ooh. Three whole diamonds, yeah. Be gone. <laughs> He's like, what'd you do to my friend, man? That was my boy. That was my boy! I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not here for diamonds, man, but I ain't gonna say no. It was a good night of caving, even if we didn't find a dungeon. Now, let's return to the surface, as we're probably getting close to daytime. That was fun. Okay, it's turning daytime. Ah! Fight! It would seem we have reached an impasse. Alright, so, a new day. A new opportunity with which to get a brown sheep. Let's make sure we also uh, get enough pork throughout the day as well. Cocoa and jungle biomes, or they don't, they don't exist yet? No, they don't exist yet. Jungle biomes are not a... Th Is this a gift from God? I think I believe in God. Look at what I just saw there and tell me that's not example of an unholy being. What is that? This is not me. This is just really weird terrain generation. It is here, O'Brien. Is this me? Surely, it can't be. It's literally impossible. I never did this. I never did anything like this. Well, as it turns out, I haven't gone quite as far as I initially thought, so let's keep going. It's getting dark again, so back down we go. Since it's so hard to see at night, I find that there's not much point in looking for a brown sheep since I can't really see much of anything. 
So back to dungeon hunting, and we should be far enough away now that we're exploring in terrain generated after 1.4. Okay, I think... No, that's the last thing you should do. That is the last thing you should have done, mister. That is not good. Today's caving trip has been some of the most brutal that I've ever seen from a mob standpoint, and it seems like that trend will continue. I mean, I don't say no to, like, some diamonds if you do want to give me them, but, again, I'm more so here for a dungeon. I'm here for the dungeons. I'm in the apartment complex? Oh, no. Has the caves gotten bigger? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh, no! <laughs> You don't get much genuine emotion from me. I'm a broken human being. I don't know how to show emotion. That was raw. That was... That was fucking raw. But I'm okay. All oh, good. It is a game that's, like, meant for kids. Like, babies. Actual, like, small children. They made this game... to be for kids, man. <laughs> modern Minecraft don't scare me. You can clip this, and once I get to the modern versions, you could use it to terrorize me if I ever get scared. But I'm confident enough in going on record saying that Modern Minecraft don't scare me, man. These old versions, horror game. Modern Minecraft, baby. Baby game. Like, if any- I, I hope nobody still legitimately thinks that it's just 2D Minecraft, because- What? It's like the longest- Oh, they're gonna fight? They're gonna fight? No, not me. There's a- it's a three-way. It might be a four-way. Holy shit. It- <laughs> I think I gotta get out of here, man. All I'm getting in these caves is an ass beating, and I'm starting to question whether dungeons are the way to go, or to just stick with finding sheep. Okay, well, there's a sheep over here. There's a black sheep. There's a, I think that was a gray sheep. I'm finding a lot of the sheep that aren't just the white sheep, but none of them is the brown sheep either. I'm beginning to get worried that this is going to take quite a while, but just as I was beginning to lose hope, this happened. You have a great night too. Ooh! Well, that was lucky. Oh my lord. That is... The luckiest dungeon. Look, it's it's so bright, it's not even going to spawn anything. Oh my god, please have cocoa beans. Let's go! It does! Let's go! And has a saddle as well, I'll take that. Wow. Okay, now we head back. I guess I could just make the wool now. Eh? Give me one of those, give me one of these. And there you go. We now have ob ob legitimately obtained brown wool. All right. Through all the peril, we got it. Yes. Yes, yes, it's so hard to see, but we are back, kind of. Never been so happy to see my home. Oh my god. All that for one block. That was a nightmare. I never want to do that again. <laughs> I'm going to have to, to be clear, do that many more times again. So that is it for beta 1.4. It adds no new blocks, yet still provided quite the challenge. Now, Beta 1.5 is another very minor update that only adds a few blocks in itself. So we have plenty of time to work on getting that done today as well. All right, Beta 1.5 underscore 01. Livestreamed. It finally introduces saplings for the different tree types in the game, these being birch and spruce. It also adds powered rails and detector rails to replace those goofy minecart boosters that people used to make. Unrelated to the challenge, but it's also the update that added achievements and statistics as well. Wow, this is... Whoosh. They really flesh these achievements out, huh? What about statistics? I suppose it doesn't... 
Yeah, it doesn't, okay, it doesn't recall statistics that you did before this update, which makes sense, but I guess it'll be kind of cool. It'll be kind of cool to see the statistics from this point onwards. I think I know the recipe for power rails. Do I know the recipe for activator rails? I gotta be honest with you, I don't think I did. I think this is power rails. Okay, yeah, very good. Does somebody know the recipe for activator rails? Because I gotta be honest with you, I don't think I've ever made activator rails in Minecraft. I confuse detector rails with activator rails, which are actually something else entirely that gets added many, many versions from now, which leads to a little confusion in crafting detector rails. Iron instead of gold and then the redstone? No. Pressure plate and redstone and gold. So is it a pressure plate? Well, let's, let's, let's cover all of our bases here. We got a pressure plate, we got a redstone torch. And now I don't have a stick. God, is shift clicking a thing yet? No. I'm gonna try like this. I'm gonna do torch. No. Pressure plate. No. Pressure plate and torch. No. Torch up here. Switch. It's like normal rails, except pressure plate replaces sticks and a dust on the bottom. Pressure plate... and dust on the bottom. Wow, okay. Let's go. That's a detector rail? Oh. Yeah, that, that might have been what I meant. I think that's what I meant. Sorry, I think I said activator rail. Detector rail is actually what I meant. Do you remember the bug that we discovered last episode with the mixed leaf types? Well, that greatly helps our challenge today, as it means that we don't have to find birch or spruce trees in the wild to get their saplings as they are literally outside of our front door. It's a little cheesy, but it does save us a lot of traveling. Look, there you go, spruce sapling. That's everything. And that is it for beta 1.4 and 1.5. Next episode, we'll tackle beta 1.6 and 1.7. I know in the outro for the last episode, I say that we'd do 1.6 today as well, but sadly, I'm gonna move that to the next episode. Sorry about that. But thank you for watching, and join me on Twitch to catch the live versions of these videos. And if you don't have Twitch, or you prefer YouTube, then go to my second channel where the unedited streams of these videos are uploaded too. Become a channel member if you want to go the extra mile to support my work, and thank you again for watching. See you next week for Beta's version 1.6 and 1.7.